space to be able to meet at any hour of the day to work on our project because it's totally time intensive outside of class has been like monumental. Ford Hall is a lot better than the Green Box. <laughs> it was like an explosion coming over here as everything just released into a nice bigger space. Lots of space. A gel running station has been great. A DNA free room has been fantastic. I've, I really appreciate this space. Mathematicians just need a blackboard, a whiteboard, a chalk, thinking, a quiet office, that's it. But when you start reasoning about three-dimensional shapes, about moving, about robots, you start realizing that you need some space. When you start teaching robotics, you start realizing that students need some space to come and play whenever they can. So for me, moving to Fort Hall, one of the first things was that I got the robotics lab. So I got now a space where I can experiment with robots, students can come, they start a project, they can come an hour later. In between two classes, they can just stop by and continue the construction that they did. So it is a major difference. No, we worked intensely with, uh, with the lab planners and the architects in designing all the aspects of the spaces that we have in the building, which was really exciting. It was great being here throughout the entire brainstorming, design, building, all that stuff was just fascinating and it's great to see sort of vague ideas we had at the beginning come to this beautiful building and now we're using it and this is our first semester uh, doing research and teaching in here and it's really been spectacular. What it offers primarily for me that, that is so fantastic and really makes the job work so well is it offers a space for the design clinic students to work where each team has their own cubicle space and their own computer that they can treat it like an office and it takes the course which which really has a the philosophy that that you are sort of mini employees or co-op students or something like that with an with a company and treat it, treats it like that and gives them office space where they can really interact that way. So we are designing a micro irrigation so that's a trickle irrigation um, drip line irrigation system for a small two acre farm about two hours away in Westport, Massachusetts. More than class time, we're spending together, working together in a group, and trying to schedule where you're gonna meet, when you're gonna meet, in different spaces that maybe already are taken. Um, it's really challenging, and so having this space to be able to meet at any hour of the day to work on our project, because it's totally time intensive outside of class, has been like monumental. And compared to like the grad school facilities that I'll be going to, I'm really excited, but my space won't be nearly as nice as this. So this is our office space that we've been using for the whole year. It doesn't close like the library. There's not a lot of um, people walking around, noisy. If I mean, I could get up and tell everybody to be quiet. But I've, I really appreciate this space. We have a lot more space. The working space I have is about double what I used to have because all of the equipment, big pieces of equipment, and a lot of other working space is in the central location. So this is really the nerve center of the Center for Molecular Biology. This is where all the high-tech equipment goes. Uh, this is a DNA sequencer, and that's a DNA sequencer. Again, very unusual for a small college like us, but we have a lot of faculty members that are heavily dependent on this technology. So for us, we actually have more, much more working space. It's much more open compared to the old lab. Uh, we're not nearly so packed in. It really makes it uh, a much more useful, workable space for, for the people who are doing the research. So moving here and having the CMB, having the freezers out of our lab, it's enabled us to have a lot more space. So now if you have a problem when you're sitting at one of the benches, you can just ask right across to someone else who's working and be like, hey, can you come over and just look at this really quick? So it's definitely facilitated a lot of interaction between labs. It's nice to have specialized areas like a gel running station has been great. A DNA free room has been fantastic because when you're talking about doing PCR and we're all working with similar organisms, there are billions of copies of DNA just everywhere. And so being able to go do a lot of precise PCR in a room that will never be exposed to billions of copies of DNA from PCR products has been fantastic. The Green Box is the old engineering building. Originally it was built as a temporary Smith building, but it's stuck around for quite a while and it probably will stick around for quite a while still. 
So what we're doing in this lab is experimenting with um, the wind tunnel. Basically, we're going to take these little <laughs> models and fly them around. We're going to turn the wind tunnel on and we're going to look at it and see all of the forces that are going on on the wing since these are too big to go in the wind tunnel. We were in a really tight, cramped space and I had materials and projects and lab equipment just compressed into corners and boxes and piled on top of itself and it was like an explosion coming over here as everything just released into a nice bigger space. A, we've filled up four different labs as a result, but also we're able to run multiple labs on top of each other. Here we're actually able to have a fluids lab, have an electrical circuits lab, have a um, soldering station set up ongoing at the same time. In every room we have like projectors and whiteboards that we can use and because of the space in class we can get up and work through problems on the board in small groups. As soon as I got here, I knew that it was exactly what I needed. So it's been fantastic and I actually think it's been a lot better than the experiences that I might have had at a bigger school, um, not liberal arts, because I don't know, I feel like I matter more <laughs> here. So I was able to get involved much more easily than at a big school.